hello everyone my name is ishmael and and welcome to today's video and i believe today's videos can help somebody as i want to share with you the signs for to know that you have met your boys these are the signs you know and are going to be sharing these signs based on the bible itself okay as you saw in the book of ruth that's where we're gonna look at chapter two chapter three as well as chapter four so starting with chapter two uh, first of all, okay, I want you to realize something as a, I don't know if I can say as a Christian or as a person, but there are always things that when they happen, one common, okay, let me put it like this. Uh, one of the most common things that I found even personally is that uh, when you have met someone who really is into you, uh, who really likes you, I won't really jump into someone who's... Uh, you're going to be married with but i'm seeing someone who you guys have a potential you know it's just that at times when people are together you just end up you end up a uh, realizing your differences along the way but at least the good start is what's needed so at this point i want you to know that you have a very good start now the prayer is that that person remains the same the person does not change okay so one thing that i've realized most of the time even personally it's like once you meet somebody and uh they these people they have a thing of playing hard to get blah 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 i think with hard to get sometimes you will barely even tell that somebody's playing hard to get although they are playing hard to get but one thing that i've realized is like from the get-go you guys are going to connect from the get-go you will realize like things are just flowing you notice each other and then the other it's like almost like you'll be exchanging the things even if someone did it act or just give themselves away just like that especially women since they're the ones who like playing as if like how oh, they are not desperate blah 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 but everything just flows that's how i realized most people who really were into me also in my whole life like it's those whom i did not have to try to make them like me and all but someone who just genuinely yeah when i say left it's like we just exchange things like this you know like when i do this yeah so all in all let's look at the bible okay the bible says uh ruth went to a place of where well, like um was it a farm or something like that you no know, uh where like the workers of boys were at so she worked so much to an extent where like boys came back they gave him a report that this who, who he, he was like who was the pers person who was responsible for the reapers and all then they told him that there's this lady who came with naomi her name is ruth she's the one who's been working doing all these things blah 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 so he started to take notice and then he was like even offered it was like you know what you don't have to do so much anymore you can just do this don't go do you know what say so try to even is a is in up the job for her but she was like no in fact she was grateful for it well, thank you for your kindness and also boys was so grateful he started to pay attention to her okay so what i want you to get from this is like this also with men good men especially since boys was a good man i'm going to show up with good men good god-fearing men when they say woman now they want something real remember their mentality is to get married so obviously they want somebody whom is a marriage or a wife material so first of all there is something that makes somebody to notice you beside the beauty men are visual creatures but i think back then it was not even that easy to see especially when it comes to those who were working those maid servants and all it was hard because i'm sure even the way they dressed they were not dressed they were dressed to impress and stuff so there is a thing that makes somebody to notice you at the end of the day and as a result when you are working well when you are behaving well men tend to pay attention so hmm who's that person seems like a good person seems like a good lady you get what i'm saying your work so that made boys to pay attention to ruth by the way she was working and all he started to pay attention even found himself interacting it's sometimes when some people they are not attracted to one another especially women they tend to be interested in men instead of just looks 
by the interaction by how that man makes them feel that's why i find that a man who's just average looking or is not so good looking according to how people will judge you find that a lady she'd be like but i love the way he makes me feel she's just happy about the way he's making her feel so allow me to tell you that as they were interacting Bowers began to realize that this lady she's there is something about her he started to like her that's why in chapter three fortunately naomi also put some more effort whatever he told her to do it did work the magic because he even told her to apply oil to dress well to put the best clothes and all so that she can go before boys and as she went there boys was impressed he was like your letter kindness is even better than the first one he was like whatever you want i remember even in chapter two he was like i told those men to not touch you that's how impressed he was. He even gave an instruction that no man should touch this woman. And he was like, is there nobody to redeem her in chapter 4? And then that other man who, who was supposed to redeem her could not. And he, the man was like, when or you should just redeem him. I mean, redeem her. And then he was like, oh, okay, no problem. Already, why did he agree on redeeming her and making her his wife? Is because of the character of the way she was but here's the moral of the thing here of the teaching in today's video the thing is this when two people meet when you have met your boys when you guys have connect uh, are meeting together to be together things will just flow there won't be those games those silly hard to get games you won't have to face for somebody to give you their attention you guys will get along, you will understand each other. And I remember boys even told me that I've heard of everything you've gone through, how you lost your husband, how you were not selfish, you followed your mother-in-law, Naomi. So those things made him to realize that this lady, she's a good lady. She's lost her husband, but she still followed her mother-in-law. Wow. He knew everything. He was inquiring about her. Let me tell you, when you meet somebody, it's just that the human nature let me remind you something about the human nature the human nature tends to want something which it can't have so most likely you will want to somebody who's playing games someone who doesn't respond to your text someone whom you kind of trying to force for the, them to like you and you feel like maybe it will work out especially in the beginning Such things maybe are supposed to happen when you guys maybe you are in a fight or something but when you guys there is something there's magic between you two from the first day you realize things are just things are just even if you don't uh, try a relationship in the first day but every time you meet you realize there is this connection you won't have headaches from the get-go and all those things you won't be forcing yourself you will connect just like how Paul has met Ruth so watch out for those signs the moment somebody's playing games and all that is a huge red flag Yes, once in a while it can work out and you guys end up finding each other's, finding the rhythm to one another. But most of them, it doesn't end well. Let it be a red flag and be like, ah, this is not the one. That's my advice. That's what I also do when I'm in those, those position, you know. When somebody, we realize you have to force them to talk to you. Sometimes they ignore you while they're online. If they're using social media, you call them. They don't even get back to you that they missed your call. You have to force it. When you want to go out, they postpone, keep on coming up with excuses. And they don't come up with an alternative. And then maybe when you meet, they're in a hurry. So that's a red flag. But when you connect, that's a good thing. Hallelujah. And of course, that's all I had for you in today's video. Like today's video, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload new videos like this. And remember to be a born again Christian, okay? Surrender your life unto Lord Jesus Christ if you are uh, backslidden. And invite the Holy Spirit to come back into your heart to guide and lead you. And for prayer requests, spiritual advice, DM me on my Instagram or email me the details on the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.